Here's a little more from Irwin and David. Yeah, and I think happen. the thing that they long for too is uh, the community. Yeah. What they see is they don't just see art, they see people just living life together and enjoying it and expressing out of something that's meaningful for their lives, not just performing. I mean, what I told my team, this team at the conference was like, there's something beyond performance that moves to passion. Mm. And you can tell when you see uh, a solo, uh, you can feel it when you see a uh, dance or a, or a piece in music, a piece of music or a drama, whatever it is, you can tell if it's performance or if it's really passion being expressed from something they deeply believe. Mm -hmm. And that, frankly, isn't shared by every artist, uh, even outside the church, that they get mm -hmm. a chance to create something that's actually real in their life. Yeah, we just came back from South Africa with yeah. Urban Poets, and uh, we were sitting at a, at a meal, and one of the um, leaders down there um, asked my son a question, asked Aaron a question, and maybe a little nervous, I didn't know what, how to answer, but he said, what's the unique um, contribution that Mosaic makes? What's the, what's the one thing that people really look for? And his answer was community. Hmm. And it really caught me by, su by surprise, actually. And, um, and I think that's really true, uh, that there's something that is really deep when people begin to love each other and care for each other. Um, Regardless of even their their faith, you know, and you know, as Christians, we're supposed to be the ones that are most inclusive, but usually, we're the ones that are most exclusive. Yeah, you know, and um, it's been it's been really beautiful. And I, I guess if there's um, a goal of this um, short conversation, and uh, thing something we really want to say is that don't get um, confused. All of our artistry, all of our creativity, all of our innovation, um, everything that we do, is um, really driven because of a a real love for people who don't know God. Um, that underneath it all, what we have is a culture of the alien, the stranger, the outsider. Yeah. And um, <laughs> um, one of the guys came to me at uh, Mosaic and said um, that one of their friends who's not a, uh, a follower of Christ said, I don't really want to go to Mosaic. And he asked him why. And he said, well, um, he's a part of another kind of cult kind of deal. And he said, I want to be a part of something that's really all about me. <laughs> and he goes, you guys at Mosaic, everything is about other people. <laughs> And uh, so he came to me really excited, going, you're going to love this. This is going to be the best insult we've ever gotten. That's great. Yeah, you know, I, I really think it gives us a lot of recruiting power also to call people to change the world. Uh, and this, the thing about bringing people in the community, it's uh, the mission that we have that creates that kind of friendship. People outside, I just find more and more artists, great artists even, they, they may not be into uh, the ideology of it, but they really want to change the world because even if they are cynical, they know that something's wrong with the world. If they see something that's changing the world, they'll connect even uh, and they'll belong before they ever believe. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what we've identified and noticed too with the artists uh, and, and others, you know. And you know, it was Easter Sunday and uh, uh, one of the guys from the Black IP mm -hmm. uh, came. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Um, and he was really nice. I didn't yeah, recognize him, yeah. but uh, he was um, up there at the 10-minute party mm -hmm. where we just interact with people who don't know God. And instantly, there had to be a reporter from NPR there. She goes in and recognizes him and says, what are you doing here at Mosaic? Black IP and Mosaic, they don't seem to match. And his, his instantaneous response was, no, no, I think we match perfectly. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of soul, and, and they have a lot of soul, and so we have a lot in common. And I think that's really part of the power of what's happening with um, the urban poets and so much of the artistic community is that um, you're connecting with people at a, at a soul level. You cannot create without opening up your soul. Mm. You, you can't dance from the deep places in your in your soul and and sing or write or act um, without opening up um, who you are at the deepest place. Mm. And uh, great acting in many ways is um, tapping into your humanity at the deepest level. And what a vulnerable place. Um, to be in to have a conversation about Jesus. Hey, why don't you know, um, love you. Can't let you <laughs> <laughs>